Hi there, this is Stephanie, and I'm going to show you how to rhinestone an object using a different size and or color for the um, outline and the fill. So you can either bring in your own image by using the import button right here, or we're going to file and import. I'm going to grab an image that comes with the program. I'll grab this fish right here. Now I am going to break the path right here because um, there's not really going to be a fill for the little um, the little fins so I'm just going to do the fill on the body itself. Go to the rhinestone fill option. Um, for outline you want to make sure it's checked. Hit select elements. Grab the size you want and pick a color that is nice for you to look at. I like this capri blue so I'm going to grab that one. You can change your spacing by clicking this up arrow or down arrow or you can actually just type in what you want. Then you go over to do the fill. You go over to um, make sure that the fill option is on. Click select elements. Um, I'm going to do the same the same size and just pick a different color. I'll pick this pretty pink color. Um, again you can change your spacing by using this this feature right here. Um, now, if you if you zoom in, you can see that the, the stones are really, really close to the outside edge ones. It's not really going to make a difference when you're um, using the templates, if you layer them, because keep in mind that the circles are um, cut larger than the stones themselves, so they're not really going to be touching. However, um, I would still choose to move them just a little bit away by using this spacing feature right here. So that pushes them out just a little bit, so it gives kind of even spacing between between all of the stones and then you click close and there you have it. You can um, you can ungroup it. it, it groups itself automatically by hitting um, the right click and then ungroup or you can see that the hotkeys alt G so that's what I would use alt G and then you can go in here and do your tweaking and moving things around and um, control C and control V to copy and paste and the same thing with the outside you can do that with those two now, if you wanted to do a different size fill, I'll show you it's the exact same thing. So we're going to do the outline in the SS10, and then we'll do the fill, let's say SS16. And the way the reason it looks like this is my spacing is way too close together for SS16 stones. So I'm going to go up here and move it up so you can see it makes it look a whole lot better. And you can go in and, and do your tweaking again. Um, again, if the spacing is too close, you can move it apart, move it away like that. Now let's say this looks perfect and I'm happy and I'm ready to cut it. So I'm going to grab um, the image. I'm going to move it off. I'm going to hit Alt-G. Now there are two things you can do at this point. Over here on your palette, you can either double click and that's going to grab all the stones of that of that color it grabbed all of the um, capri blue stones or you can hit shift and do that as well um, and I would hit control G to group and then I would grab those and control G to group and then to prepare it to cut I am going to make a little weed box a lot of people will tell me at this point that they're, they all they see is a black box you can either hit control B to move it to the back or I've put this um, this little shortcut button up here and that moves it to the back so you can see or alt S will take the fill off um, you can go to view and show fill and then I would grab the whole thing and hit control D to duplicate and move it right off then I would delete those from that one grab the outline and delete those from that one. Now you have your images ready to go ahead and send to your cutter using this button right here. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.